Hello, Paxi. I'm American astronaut Anne McLean, and I'm an astronaut aboard the International Space Station. Welcome on board. Today I'd like to talk to you about the way that we move in space. Let's fly around a bit here on station. All of this flying around that we just did is a mix of translation and rotation. Let's first talk about translation. Translation is when we're moving along in a straight line. I'm going to demonstrate this on you, Paxi. Translation is like this. We can move in three unique locations. Up and down and side to side. We can go forward. We can come backwards. That's translation. And we call these directions axes, specifically X, Y, and Z axes. Since we have three unique directions, what do we call that? 3D. Rotation is when you turn an object around on its axis, like a somersault. Like this. Or like this. Here we rotated you around the axis in your center. Many movements are a mix of translation and rotation. We control our spacecraft, robots, and other machines through a set of commands of rotations and translations. Our solar cells outside of the ISS are all rotating around the, to catch the sunlight. And the spacecraft that come to visit the ISS have to rotate and translate very carefully to dock precisely with station. But knowing about rotation and translation is not only important to control robots and spaceships, it's also important for us humans too. We also move around in translation and rotation, and so do you, Paxi. On Earth, we're always being dragged down by gravity. Down is where the ground is and up is where the sky is. But here in space, we don't really have that point of line or orientation or anything to hold us down. So we translate and rotate that can make us a little bit disoriented at first. I bet all of you people on Earth have tried spinning really fast in an office chair or losing their balance and getting dizzy. And this is because of the inside of our ears, there's a fluid that tells us what's up and what's down. This, there's a really smart system in there, it's called the vestibular system. When we spin around on Earth, the fluid in the ear is swirled around and that's how we feel dizzy. Here in space, the fluid is just floating around in our ear all the time. It takes a little bit to get used to. To help us to not be sick and to work better while we're in space, designers and engineers have worked together to give us some points of orientation. We have the majority of the lights on what we call the ceiling and the writing on the walls is all pointed in the same direction. And this means that we sort of have a floor and we sort of have a ceiling so that we can find our way around and know which way is up. Well, it's been a pleasure showing you all about translation and rotation and movement in space, Paxi. Come back next time, okay? Let's rotate.